Hello and welcome to today's video. Today I'm reviewing a notebook uh, and this is a book that uh, I saw on a retailer online. Um, it's from Flame Tree Notebook. They're a sort of like a little publishing kind of company uh, and make sort of these, I suppose, novelty sort of notebooks. Um, but I really love the Van Gogh Starry Night painting. I think it's beautiful um, and this book kind of pays homage to it in you know, its own unique way. Uh, there's a range of these sorts of notebooks from this company. So I'm gonna run over the parts features of the book. I'm gonna base, you know, show you some writing samples and stuff like that, uh, and then talk about some pros and cons. So this is an A5 size notebook. Um, it's a good size. I like A5. Um, it's kind of like a good universal size. Uh, what's good about this is that it is hardcover like and quite a sturdy hardcover uh, so you don't need to you wouldn't need to put this in a notebook cover but if you decided to being a standard size does help it is as i said hard bound and it's got a sort of a very sturdy uh binding and spine and this sort of magnetic um kind of uh enclosure on the side i'm not exactly sure what's going on with that i haven't been able to sort of quite work that out uh, but it does the job it protects the edges of the pages and there's a nice little hangover um, over the edge of the corners here so you can actually uh, you know it does protect the pages so the pages don't get dog eared and you know banged up and things like that uh, you open it up and it's got a uh, very nice red end pages a little bit of place for you to put your personalized information there and in the back a little bit of more information it says this is a flame tree notebook and you've got a range of them flame tree publishing as i said this was bought from a book depository uh online uh and it came to here in australia uh and the the art flame tree publishing the art of fine gifts um and so it's really designed as i said like as a sort of a a gift range not a high stationary range uh, but i enjoy it so i wanted to show it uh, it's got a nice little pocket there uh, all those sort of stock standard features including a decent ribbon uh, that you would expect in a notebook of this kind um, it is this is the lined version it's an ivory paper if i you know show it next to the rhodia white paper you can see it is ivory what i like is that the lines are simple right to the end of the page there's no margins there's no date sections it's not numbered or anything like that it is very simple uh, and the line is not super intrusive and being um, a pretty decent sort of line width uh, you can get a decent amount of writing and um, if you're using broader nibs and things like that it's not going to be a particularly big problem um, the book lies flat as you can see it's um it's it's a sewn binding um, but it's got a it's got a nice sort of it sits nice and flat it doesn't bend round on itself very well it's not designed for that uh, but it does sit nice um, the cover sort of extends across the entire back of the book um, and it's nicely done it's got these sort of gold uh, you know sort of foil through it um, it's sort of eye-catching it looks a little bit garish uh, but also, if you're a fan of this type of artwork, or if uh, there's you know others in the range, or if you know people who are, these kinds of notebooks make a great gift option. The paper itself is fairly smooth. I'm, I was actually kind of impressed when you get a lot of these notebooks, and there's a couple of brands who do these sort of like quite over the top notebooks. Um, the paper quality is often quite a loose weave. This is actually pretty good. Um, there's a bit of tooth on it. Uh, but it's not sort of too bad um, and it's a fairly decent weight. Um, I couldn't find what the weight is. I'm guessing it's around um, the 70 to 80 GSM weight. Um, but as we've said before, the weight of a paper doesn't really mean anything uh, in terms of its fountain pen friendliness or how it responds to different inks uh, because it's more about the weave of the paper. If it's a loose weave, the inks get through. If it's a tight weave, uh, the inks tend to sort of respond better. So I have done some writing samples in here uh, using a range of different uh, fountain pens and uh, regular pens and a few other things. So I'll run through this now. So I've got the Flame Tree Starry Night uh, Notebook. This is the paper ink test. Colorverse Blue Black in a Pelican M805, which is a 
if you're familiar with the Pelicans, they're a broad medium and they're quite wet. Then Diamine Terracotta and Alami 2000 medium, once again, a, a wet pen. Uh, Jacques Bleu Astral uh, in an Edison Brockton Extra Fine. And then Noodler's Bay State Blue in a Jinhal 992. Bay State Blue being quite a brutal ink uh, to work with. And if we look at the non-fountain pens, I've got a Uniball Signo Blue Black uh, in a broad, the Pentel Energel Brown 0.7, a Sharpie a Fine Liner, that's just their regular pen uh, with a highlighter um, there, showing that like it gets very little kind of movement, a big ballpoint, that's a, one of the four click ones. Um, once again, the highlighter, Pilot Friction, um, it rubbed out okay. Um, Muji gel pen, yeah, fine. Sharpie, that's a regular Sharpie marker. Uh, it's held fairly well. Uh, then a Tombow Mono 2B pencil, uh, which uh, erased once again fairly well. It's a soft paper. It's not a coated paper, so it is relatively soft, um, meaning that things like pencils and things do leave a bit of an imprint, and that's just a regular 2B. Um, then what I've also done is an ink and water test where I took Robert Oster's Velvet Storm, just in a regular Gravitas uh, pens entry medium nib there, and I just ran over it with a water brush pen, um, and you can see that the ink moves around a lot, uh, but also the original line stays quite strong, and also sort of, but also sort of feathers with it. And actually, if we look at the reverse of this page, let's turn it over you'll see that uh, that's actually pushed the ink through the page. Whereas with the regular writing, there's a couple of spots where it's come through, but nothing too bad. Looking at the rest of the pens, the Sharpie has come through, of course, but none of those are extra, like the gel pens or the roller balls and things have come through. Actually, if we look at the fountain pens, the broader ones have actually done better. It's the Brockton Extra Fine and the, and the, uh, with the Jacoban Blue Austral, and the Noodler's Bay State Blue that have actually come through more than the Lamy 2000 with the Diamine Terracotta and uh, the Colorverse Blue Black in the Pelican M805. Now, Colorverse Blue Black is an ink I think actually performs better than a lot of ink. Um, its performance of you know, Feather and Bleed is better than a lot. Um, and so this paper is actually held up fairly well to that. And if we look at it sort of in terms of show through yes you can sort of see these things through but i think it holds up okay if you were a a if you were journaling and you wanted something a little bit different to journal in and you didn't necessarily use fountain pens or you use slightly drier fountain pens i think it'd be a fairly good option this edison brockton uh is a extra fine but it's got a wet extra fine and this ink is a little bit more brutal as well uh, it tends to sort of eat through a lot of paper so um you know you can see how these things have responded I wanted to do just a live writing sample here today. Um, so I have a still form ink fountain pen here uh, and with Color Traveler Time for Whiskey ink in it. Um, so I will just write that down. Oh, it's not the Color Whiskey, it's a uh, Detrimentus Charles Dickens. Detrimentous inks are generally fairly wet. Um, this is a fine. Um, and the ink, as I said, is Detrimentous. Charles Dickens. So they're wet inks. Um, and in a sort of finer nib here, the finer, the, as I said, the broad nibs tend to sort of do better on this paper. Um, but we'll see how this sort of responds in a second. Um, one thing I will say about this paper and how ink responds on it is that um, some of the colours are a little bit duller. Um, it's not that they're not as saturated, but they sort of, the blue-black loses a bit of its punch. Um, and we saw that down here with the Uniball Signal as well. Um, the ballpoints and things work beautifully on here, and I think the, pa the pencil works well with that little bit of tooth on the paper, so that it's not super smooth. Uh, but now that that's sort of dry, we can see that, firstly, if we look up close on those fountain pens, we see that the, the paper, the ink isn't feathering necessarily on the paper, um, on any of these, which is really great. And if we look over, once again, it's a wet ink, so it has come through. So not the most fountain pen friendly uh, paper, but not designed to be. It's fairly well priced. So in, I bought this from, as I said, from Book Depository, uh, and it was seventeen ninety five or something. And we can see here that the uh, sort of the standard price is fifteen ninety nine US, or around ten pounds. Uh, it says there on the barcode. Um, yeah, you can get a bit of a sense for it. 
go and look on flametreepublishing.com if this is the kind of journal you're interested in uh, and thinking that, uh, you know, it might be nice to see what else is in their range. I actually like it. I, as I said, I like the painting. I think it's it's not the standard sort of notebook I would use, you know, like you've got a Rodeo web notebook here. Actually, for size comparison, you can see it's actually a little bit, um, it's a little bit bigger than the, uh, just ever so slightly than the Rodeo Webby, so you know what you're getting into. Um, but it is a, it's an outgoing <laughs> notebook, um, and for sort of stock standard writing instruments, your ballpoints, uh, roller balls, gel pens, those kinds of things will actually make a relatively nice uh, writing option, similar to things like the Paper Blanks and those kinds of brands. So I hope you found this video about the Flame Tree Publishing Surrey Night Notebook interesting. Um, Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe, all that kind of stuff. Get in touch if there are products you think I should be looking at or if there's a way you would like to support the channel. Um, in the meantime, enjoy your pens, enjoy writing, and I'll talk to you soon.